What's going on, guys? Brandon King here, Broken to the Flyco. We are back on the fly tying bench. I'm pouring up a uh, backcountry brewing IPA. And this one is called the Widowmaker. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay, I just got a little bit of uh, stuff to get get ready here before we start. I'm just going to be putting our materials together. I'll go through these, you know, once we officially start. But uh, sit back, enjoy, and we got another cool video to go through today. And I will tell you why. I'll tell you what makes this what's going to make this video cool once we uh, officially get underway here. The thread that we're using is a UTC seventy, just an olive. And a uh, quick shout out to Brian Sherwood for uh, <laughs> commenting on the last video about sucking the uh, sucking the thread through. That's the proper way to put thread into a, a bobbin. Oh, that's a good beer. Okay, so we got that. Um, we're going to need some black extra small wire, some olive small hollow tinsel. I got my buzzer wrap. I've got my uh, Crony Cuts ASB. Um, we are on. Okay, I'll tell you what makes it. What's going to make this uh, this episode special? We have nine flies left, nine chronomids left to to complete a box of a chronomid box that I've been working on since fly tying season officially started. That was back in November. We are down to the last nine flies. This is a 306, 306 box, 306 flies. Um, so super stoked. I, don't, I, I hope that we can finish all nine. I don't know how much time that's going to take. Hopefully not too long. Um, but you guys are going to be in for it. I know that. We're going to finish this. Uh, the focus today is going to be on what well, we're going to be doing. If you, haven't, if you haven't clued in already, we're going to be using green. Uh, green is the one color that I haven't really tied uh, much of in this box. So we got some watery olive buzzer wrap. We're going to be doing uh, ASB uh, with a green rib, with the green hollow rib. We're going to reverse that and we're going to be doing green with an ASB rib. And then we're going to get some black ribs in there as well. So yeah, we got a good array of different chronic patterns. The nine, uh, just a quick little nine here. And uh, I've already got the hooks ready. I got, uh, these are size 18, 18 curved nymph hooks, Togans, with the 564th black bead on there. And then we've got some white Antron that we're going to be using for the gills. Um, and of course, we've got the uh, Zappa Gap. For the uh, for the coden, so I think that's it. I think we're ready to rock. One more little sip here, and uh, I'm going to change the camera over to uh, to face the vice, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Cheers. All right, all right, guys. We are back. We got the camera angle set. We've got the hook in the vice. Uh, again, this is a size 18 curve nymph hook, uh, Togan's fly shop. I'm just going to adjust my light just a little bit there. And, uh, 564th black nickel bead. And we're just going to attach our olive, uh, 70 denier. And right now we're just putting our, uh, we're putting our gills on. So for the gills I'm using, uh, this is just white Antron. Um, 
I find that's a pretty good material for the gills. Uh, I've used EP fibers in the past, and I like those, but I found that the Antron, I mean, you can kind of pull it and it tenses up just a little bit, so it allows a bit of a cleaner cut. The only material that I haven't really tied with um, has been the white uni stretch, which I hear is absolutely just the bomb. Oops, the bomb when it comes to putting gills on a chronomid. Um, but I mean, this stuff works. And one day we'll try the, uh, again, I'm just going to adjust this light just a little bit there. Okay, uh, when do you cut the gills? I see a lot of guys wait until the very end to cut their gills. Sorry, one more sip. <laughs> one more sip there. Um, I see a lot of guys wait till the end of the fly to cut their gills, like after they whip finish and they're done. I mean, does it really matter? No, you can come in and cut this thing any way you want. I'm just waiting, or all I'm looking for there is just a little bit. Um, basically the same, the same size as the the bead. So you're not looking for the for the gills to hang out too much. Um, so like to me like right there like that's perfect like that's that's more than enough um okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to be doing hollow tinsel so i got small hollow tinsel this is an olive color uh, it looks great it's got a lot of shine to it so we're going to tie this this is going to be a rib so i'm just kind of pulling out a couple strands here just to work with Snip that off. And I know you guys can't see this on camera, but I'm just putting it down there. And then I'm also gonna grab our uh, our ASB. And for the ASB, this is uh, 0.75. So actually, if we're gonna be doing the green rib, I think I'm gonna use my 0.5. So you can see the difference here. This is 0.75, so super thin compared to this, which is 0.5. And the 0.5 is great for doing bodies, um, obviously, because you're just doing less turns around the shank of the hook. I'm just cutting off a piece of this. Get that ready. And then because the hollow tinsel is gonna be acting as our rib, it's gonna be the first thing that I tie in. So I'm just gonna bring my, bring the thread down right to the barb. And just tie that in. Kind of just set that aside. Then we bring in our ASB. If I can kind of just pull this back a little bit with my left hand, just get a cleaner tie in point. And then we can work on our taper. And uh, I'm sorry for doing an, another, I know we did our, uh, actually the first video that we did in this series was a, was a chronomid video. So I'm sorry for doing another one so quick, but like I said before we started, I'm so excited for this one because finally, after several months, we can put the put this fly box to bed. 306 flies, 306 chronomids. If you've been following around, uh, or sorry, following our Instagram, you will notice that uh, we've taken a few pictures with the chronomid box and you'll see it. So it's finally coming to light. Oh, hey, shout out to uh, Dan Johnson. Dan Johnson for recommending using the uh, the razor blade to cut ASB. Oh man, this is a game changer. Look how fit, like, I'm not even worried about uh, having that little tag end stick up anymore. So big thanks to Dan Johnson. 
Um, he commented on our last, on the last Chronomid video and just said, Hey, try using a razor blade and it is a game changer. So this is just an ASB body. The hollow tinsel, I don't really care about using the razor blade. I mean, you can cut those things and once you put your thread on them, the, uh, the tag end just disappears. But so right now we've got the ASB body, the green hollow tinsel, sorry, the olive hollow tinsel. And, uh, I just needed some green in the box. Oh, fly moved just a little bit there. There we go. Come in here with our uh, Zappa Gap. It's not super common. I mean, I, oops, just dropped my, <laughs> dropped my boffin on the ground there. It's not super common to see the green chronomids, but um, when they are popping off, you're going to make sure that you're going to, you're, you're going to want to have a good selection. Okay. Let's, uh, Let's do that one again. Slider bead back, UTC 70, just get the thread on there. Cut off our tag. And grab our Antron. Position that, position that just over top. And we're just putting the thread over top just to clean that up. Whip finish so we can cut our thread. Slide our bead forward and apply the thread behind the bead. And like I said, you can cut the you can cut the gills at any point. I find that, I mean, like, sure, you can, you can wait till the end and, you know, snip the gills off and then it looks, it's kind of like you're completing the fly, but I don't know. Sometimes you get them stuck in the way when you're trying to whip finish and, uh, I don't know, the gill fibers get trapped, this and that. So sometimes it's better just to get rid of them. Okay. So I just got my, Green hollow tinsel. Just bring our thread down to the barb. Attach that in. Grabbing some uh, ASB here. great with the size 18s you really don't need a lot of <laughs> you don't need a lot of paper these flies are small and we're just going to wrap that ASB right up to the bead and then we can uh, cut that off Grab our uh, razor blade here, 
Man, that's clean. Dan Johnson, where have you been? That is just a it is such a fantastic tip. Using the razor blade to trim that. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we're just wrapping up our hollow tinsel. Um, I'm just doing open segments. And uh, all we're doing is just kind of giving the fly just a little bit of that green, that green shine. Give our thread just a little bit of a spin here just so it can lay flat. I know this fly is small, so I'm, I'm hoping that you're able to pick this up on the camera. And zap a gap time. Just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody that's watched these videos. Our last video, the carry special. That one got a lot of views and we were, and a lot of comments and just super happy that it uh, seems like people are liking the kind of the long style fly tying session. So we've done the, the chronomid one. We've done uh, the chronomid larva, AKA the blood worm. We did the carry special, just a still water classic. And now we're just going back to chronomids here, just so I can finish off, uh, finish off the box. And uh, oh, I'll show you both of those there. Size 18. Just ASB with a green rib, super simple. Black 64th bead, white gills. Um, I mean, it's a deadly fly pattern, caught many a fish using these ones. Cheers. And uh, as always, I've pre put all the uh, all the beads on the hooks. So we're not wasting time fiddling around with that. Okay, so we've done two flies with the. Let's do a third one. Let's do another one. Yeah, we've had so much fun making these, so appreciate all the comments on it. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, one thing's for sure. We, we do make a lot of mistakes on these videos, and uh, you know what? I think that's half the fun. We're not perfect. We're enjoying tying. I mean, you see on Instagram, you see so many flies that just look absolutely bang on, and we are not about that. We're, uh, this is kind of like the real, real life of fly tying here. Mistakes get made. We have fun. We laugh about it. Man, I can't wait to fish these things. So we are, uh, tomorrow is April 1st, which means we are four weeks away from hitting the still water with ice coming off. We've got a trip planned to the BC interior uh, the last week of April. So super stoked to get that started and fish all of these flies. And uh, the idea is to film it and um, yeah, film some flies, catch some fish. Have a great time. Green hollow tinsels coming on. Grab our ASB.
wrap our thread up to the top and then just kind of quickly work on that taper. Give our sped or <laughs> give our thread just a little bit of a spin just so it flattens out. And then we can start wrapping it up. Secure this down. So you can do two or three wraps behind, two or three wraps in front. I think that's thread sticking up there. That's weird, eh? Okay, hollow time. With the hollow, so I'm not really aiming for a certain amount. I think as long as we're just doing open thread wraps up or uh, open segments up, we're kind of getting the idea and we're just giving that ASB a bit of color. And the green's gonna shine through. Come in here with the whip finish. And a zap a gap. So the one thing that you don't see behind the camera is uh, with the Zappa Gap, I put one coat on, one coat on now, and then once it's dry, uh, I let them all dry on the cork here. And once it's all dry, I put another coat on because the first coat kind of um, well, it it sinks in with either the thread and everything that you're putting on there, and then the second coat I find just really hardens it down. So. Uh, if we're talking durable durability, yeah, the second coat is, uh, well, in my opinion, anyways, it's a must. So, all right, three down. Um, we are going to switch now to the exact opposite of what we're doing. So instead of the green rib, um, can you guys see my shirt? Fly Fishing 97 podcast. So instead of the green rib, we are going to be using the ASB as the rib, and we're going to switch the ASB up from the 0.5 to the 0.75. The Fly Fishing 97 podcast with Mark Hoffley. It's uh, <laughs> definitely addicted to that show. He does a great job. So shout out to Mark if you're listening. Just a great fly fishing podcast. So just behind the camera here, I'm just cutting more uh, Antron. So just kind of clean this up a bit. One wrap, two wrap, three, and then just kind of walk this back just a bit. If you pull on it, just make all those fibers tighten up so you can get a closer cut. Give your, give your thread a, a bit of a spin counterclockwise. So it flattens out and once it flattens out, you can just come over top here just like that. Just kind of seal everything down. Whip finish. Bring our bead forward. Reattach our thread. Just 
Let's let the girls. Then just bring my thread down to the barb. Going to that 0.75 thickness on the ASB. Just grab my uh, remaining hollow tinsel here. Tie that in place. And just bring our thread right up to behind the bead. Counterclockwise spin. Flatten that thread out. And then just ever so slightly, we're just building the taper. Again, this is a size 18 fly, so it doesn't take much, doesn't take much thread, <clears throat> excuse me, to, um, to build the taper on these ones. Okay, so this is a small hollow tinsel. So, excuse me while I make a thousand wraps off the shank of the hook here. The medium's nice because it's so quick. Two behind, two in front, and snip. Maybe just give one or two extra thread wraps here just for good luck. And then we're just going to wrap this 0.75 ASB up to the top. So again, just open segments. This time we got the green body, so we're just giving the uh, some extra shine with the ASB. And we're just going to stick with the green collar. <clears throat> Zap a gap. Had a nice little healthy coat there. And that flies ready. You guys aren't falling asleep yet, are you? Can we even tell the difference here? <laughs> so we got the the green with the ASB wrap, and then we got the ASB with the green wrap. I mean, it looks very similar. We're gonna change these up soon. And we're gonna introduce black wire, but I'm just gonna tie two more just like that. It's a rain, rainy day here in Vancouver, so it feels good to be on the fly tying bench, tying for you guys. What's your guys' favorite? gill material to use for condiments. 
Let me know in the comment section below. I kind of have a feeling that it's the white uni stretch. Um, but the Antron, it does the trick. Bring our thread back to the barb and uh, we'll just attach this ASB, pull back on it just a bit. Oops. And uh, as mentioned, this is a Togans size 18 curved nymph hook, black 64th bead. Um, in the, in the description, I feel like I've done a pretty good job of, uh, just, I mean, I put the, I put the link so you can, so you guys know where to go to buy. I'm just going to give this a counterclockwise spin. I put the, uh, I put the link so you can buy all the materials. So whether it's, I mean, if I'm using tokens, I'm just going to put the link for the token shop and it takes you right to the, uh, either to the bead section, the hook section, or the hook, or the, um, the thread. Just so you guys can see exactly the same materials. Uh, if you want a material list, like a proper one, just let me know in the comments. I'm more than, more than happy to share that. But the thing it, ah, uh, <laughs> it was bound to happen. Okay. Give me a second here. What is going on? Um, yeah, if you want to see the actual material list, just let me know in the comment section. I'll share it with you. I just figured the links would be helpful. So I got one more fly to do like this, and then we're going to switch it up and do the uh, uh, the black extra small wire. And with that extra small wire, <laughs> are you guys watching this? This is a disaster. All right. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting because I've just finished cutting the hollow tinsel off so i'm gonna have to to skip a few uh wraps just so i can tie this in again um i should be using hackle pliers for this i'm trying not to drop it come on baby The important thing with fly tying is just don't get mad. <laughs> don't look at this. Come on, cooperate. Don't get mad. I really should have saved my work and maybe did a quick little whip finish there. Oh man. I'm actually using the wrong any static bag too. This is the 0.5. But you know what? This fly is still going to work. It certainly will.
Okay, well we've got this uh, we've got this one behind us. There was bound to be a screw up sh sooner or later. It's okay. You would think after you know tying almost three hundred and six chronomids for this box, not to mention you know all the other ones that uh, we wouldn't be making these mistakes anymore, but. Um, just like fishing, <laughs> it'll humble you. Mm. Man, that is a good beer. Shout out to Backcountry Brewing. Those guys know what's going on. That IPA is nice. It's actually the first time I've had the IPA. Um, in the last video, we were drinking the Pale Ale. And they also have a Pilsner, not to mention all the other beers they have. But... Um, yeah, it's not super hoppy. I'm not a big fan of the the crazy, crazy hoppy IPAs, but uh, this one's nice. <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. Bring our bead back. Attach our thread. Cut off the tag. Grab our Antron. Lazy wrap over top, tighten that down, pull tight and snip, counterclockwise spin, flatten that thread, and then just come right over top to seal that in, whip finish, bring our bead forward. Reattach the thread and then cut off the excess gill. I'm just getting the proper 0.75 ASB ready to go, and then we walk our thread back tight in the ASB and then I'm just coming in here with the hollow And then just quickly work on my taper here. Counterclockwise spin. Um, in the other chronomid video, other chronomid video, I mentioned the uh, what we're doing with the taper, and. I'm just thinking as the uh, as the bead is kind of like base zero and then just going, you know, three quarters of the way back to base, half the way back to base, and then one quarter of the way back to base. So that's just kind of like the way the taper works. Um, with these 18s, as mentioned, it's a very small fly, so it's pretty easy to, to build a quick taper here. You don't really need to do much. Wrap the hollow tinsel up. It's hollow time. Oops, kind of jumped on me there. I'm just going to unwind this. Man. There we go. All right. <laughs> We're working our way back to the bead now. Told you guys, we make mistakes. Cut off the excess. 
quick little backward spin of the bobbin. Flatten that thread. And now we are just gonna wrap that ASP. Now that I've got the proper one up here, overlapping rib. Then seal that down. Come in with our razor blade, cut the excess, flatten that thread again. And then just come straight over top. I really hope that uh, Dan Johnson is watching this and he, <laughs> that if he's seeing this and with that razor blade tip, Dan, if you're listening, please give me a comment in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. All right, zap a gap. Let's seal all of this in. So far, so good, guys. We just did six flies here. Last night, I was tying up some uh, some size 12s. And um, it's funny just tying such a, such a large chronomid. It's, uh, I mean, your proportions or a little, <laughs> I mean, so, you know, now we're doing such small ones and, and then last night with the large ones, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit different on the, the thread wraps, building the, building the taper, how many, you know, ASB wraps you can do all the way up from the base to the, to the bead. Um, so far I would say we're doing okay. And these, uh, they're definitely small flies. Sometimes I wish I do had like a little, you know, magnifying glass or something like that just to kind of get a closer perspective on it. A little bit of a spin. Come over top. Whip finish. So we've got three flies left to do. And I think now we will switch to the, uh, we're going to continue, continue, continue. Uh, <laughs> we're going to continue. I promise it's not the beer. I'm not even, I've only had a few sips. We're going to continue using the hollow tinsel, olive, small. And we're going to introduce the black extra small wire. So just kind of reapply my thread. And you'll notice I keep the thread just behind the bead, not directly behind, but maybe just like a bead length behind. Uh, extra small ultra wire. This is black. I'm just going to take off a couple lengths here. And we are going to tie this in. And then just walk the wire down to the barb. Stop there. Grab our hollow tinsel. Tie that in. And just work on our taper here. 
come to the top, give a bit of a spin backwards, flatten that thread. You'll notice I didn't cut the gills this time. Let's see if that comes back and bites us. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, hollow time. The hollow, the green hollow with the black rib is a nice um, contrast. The silver, if you're gonna use a silver wire, the silver rib is also a very nice contrast. Um, that fly is actually on brokentippet.com. We have nicknamed that one the green frog chronomid. And you can also use uh, orange, uh, orange thread for the kind of like the thorax region, and the orange thread just kind of helps imitate the uh, the wing buds. Cheers, guys. Okay, black wire. helicopter that off actually with extra small wire you don't really need to helicopter off anything <laughs> it just rips uh, okay whip finish time couple turns with the old whip finish and we are setting the setting the stage for our last two flyers that one was pretty nice trim our gills if you got a couple of stragglies, you can cut those off. But again, that's just for the, that's just to catch fishermen. More of an Instagram thing. Make the fly look pretty. Zap a gap. Hmm. A lot more hollow on this one. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick that up on camera or not, but the little, the extra small black wire just looks, I mean, it looks nice. Gives it a clean look. A little bit less shine compared to the ASB. But uh, at the end of the day, it's a very, very similar fly. And if you put some of these in your fly box, you will thank me when the green chronomids are popping. Okay, guys, this is it. Last two flies. I am getting excited. This means that our, our big chronomid box is finally going to be complete. Uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure that you hit that follow button because I'm going to post a picture of it and you will be impressed. <laughs> Honestly, it's a lifetime. It's a, No one needs 300 chronomids. This is more of like a... I don't know. I'm looking at this more of like a generational fly box. Something to pass down one day. We got the gills on. Bring our bead up. reattach our thread <laughs> this is uh i'm, I'm just kind of getting nervous i'm getting excited for it it's, it's yeah i've started on this box in november and i don't tie every night like i'm not a i'm not a commercial fly tire i'm not spending hours and hours on the vice um usually on thursdays i'll sit down with uh with a couple buddies on a zoom call and you know we'll have a couple drinks and you know tie up a type a dozen uh, flies and uh, you know that's really it for the week I mean I'll, I'll tie 
maybe have another day or another night of just, you know, sitting down and tying a few, but this has been a long time coming. Black, extra small wire, back to the, to the barb. Grab our green hollow tinsel. Tie that in. Bring our thread up to the bead. Once I get to the bead, I'm just gonna stop, backward spin, flatten that thread. Fill the taper just a little bit. There's that three quarter mark, the half. I mean, that's really all you gotta do on a size 18. And then we just wrap our hollow. As I've said before, it's hollow time. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Capture that down. Trim off the excess. One more, two more wraps for good luck. And we bring up our black extra small wire. to give this fly a bit of segmentation. I mean, you can kind of see the segmentation, the extra small is pretty small. And whip finish. Drop the whip finish tool. Snip off the excess, cut the gills. Oops, cut the gills. Apply our zap a gap. And as I mentioned off camera, once all of the uh, the other flies we have drying right now, we'll apply another layer of zap a gap to them just to kind of add to that durability. Let's put these with the rest. Okay, so there's eight. Yeah, the black rib looks nice. Okay, this is it. The lucky number nine and lucky number 306. Uh, I kind of want to sit back and enjoy this one for half a second here. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh, bam. Uh, I can't believe it. We're finally here. We are here. Like I said at the start of the video, you guys are going to witness a special moment. I mean, to me anyways, it's a special moment. I'm loving this. After I'm done this uh, fly box, I can honestly say <laughs> I will never tie a chronomet again. Well, never, maybe never say never. Um, I mean, we're going to lose a ton of flies out there. The fish are going to destroy a ton of flies out there. So we're going to be tying more chronomids, but, um, we'll see how many more, you know, boxes I fill this, this might be, uh, <laughs> this might be it. Next year is going to be a big, uh, damsel and dragon box because, oops, because I absolutely love fishing damsels and dragons. Just that that strip around the weed beds uh, on an intermediate sinking line. So nice. Okay. Trim the gills. 
find our black wire. Did I use it all on the last one? Uh, I don't see any more kicking around here. I'm just going to grab some more. walk that back to the barb once we get to the barb we stop and we're gonna take some more hollow tinsel Attach that in, up to the bead, stop, backward spin, I'm getting excited guys. The dreams when I first started this box and didn't think I was going to be able to finish, finish it before ice off is finally coming a reality. It's hollow time. Well, let's wrap this hollow up. Lightly over wrapping laps, wraps, get to behind the bead, stop, capture it. Snip off the excess. Just one more, two more wraps in there. And we go at it with the extra small black wire. And this is it. Wow. I've got goosebumps. I'm feeling good. Oh. Of course. I'm just going to snip that away. We'll cover it. Um, like I said, if you haven't checked out the Instagram... I'm going to take a picture of the uh, the fly box once it's done. And we're going to post it. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> uh, thank you for being a part of this. No, seriously, guys, this has been, uh, we've had so much fun making these videos. And this is a, this is a special night for me so nice to complete a box if you've done the same you know the feeling uh just awesome um oh that feels good there it is nine flies we've got some green in the fly box now uh thank you so much for watching really appreciate it um yeah hit that like button smash that subscribe button and uh we'll see you guys on the other side <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me we'll uh we'll see you guys on the other side and uh i'm not this might be it for fly time for me for the year um the box is uh the boxes are all ready to go so the next video is going to be uh, on the long logging road the trip to the lake and uh you know getting the boat uh getting the boat ready and setting up camp getting the rods ready getting out on the water can't wait so thank you so much and uh as always fish on <laughs>